Halo. Hey. Ah, <laughs> uh, so uh, as I I'm still super jet lag and I'm really sleepy, but I think you guys are all are uh, sleepy <laughs> and also tired. Uh, I'm more. It's but three program uh, more to go, and then uh, today is finished. So um, I'm talk about uh, tokenizations, and then I have just in case I have a note here, so don't worry. I will talk about this appropriately. Um, so um, thanks for great illustrations for Hold team. Um, I'm looks very young. <laughs> right. Um, so let's start talk about the tokenizations economy, and then OMG wild exchange. So in a very short time that we have uh, managed um, the tokenize a uh, significant value, hitting over 800 a billion uh, market cap. Uh, now a little bit. It's around half, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, but, uh, um, so, but uh, is it the big enough? So let's see um, uh, this graph. At this time, uh, crypto market um, have such a small portion of the total asset value relative to the fiat currency and then stocks. So as you can see, uh, crypto is even compared to the fiat, it's 400 billion. It sounds huge, but it's actually not really huge. So uh, more obvious way is next. So um, and an even smaller portion relative to the uh, total asset value, including the real estate, uh, gold and silver stocks. Um, We cannot see. Actually, it's zero point. It's a less than more, uh, zero point one percent. So we we cannot really see anything here. So uh, we still have a long way to go. So we uh, still care about the asset that uh, preceded the forthcoming asset, right? Uh, ETH is still measured by uh, USD uh, or some other uh, crypto pair. Fiat was historically the back by gold, and the tokenization of different into new asset uh, is uh, is also significant. Um, but in the historically, you know, it's a thousand years, thousand years ago, uh, we are using stone. As a value, and then we tokenize into other materials. But do we really care about that custodial, uh, the asset which is stone, is now? We don't really care anymore because we already tokenize uh, to different asset value. So we are never ask, uh, where the hell is my stone anymore? So we shift what we attribute the value to uh, into new asset. But how does tokenization of an asset happen? So value asset X is now at the current mainstream, and a Y equal tokenized asset. And then third is the way to tokenize, and the fourth, and it become the value asset Y is going to be the mainstream asset. So uh, let's see our historical like tokenization. So Stone, it's uh, tokenized to jury, and the jury tokenized to the gold, and the gold tokenized to uh, gold and silver currency, and gold and silver currency to the fiat currency. And fiat currency to digital currency, right? And uh, such as like internet banking and, and other uh, the asset. And finally, 
uh, this digital currencies uh, become a cryptocurrency. So the ideal asset comply with uh, these conditions. Uh, so one by one, the versatility, the ability to exchange anything, receivability, uh, the mass access, and security, a proven uh, authenticity and ownership, uh, and then completeness, uh, the finality of transaction, and the privacy, uh, preservation of uh, private information and data, and stability, the uh, perceived level of the risk uh, and asset, and then scalability, ability to serve the masses. So, um, so asset vary in their ability to uh, satisfy these conditions. Uh, as you can see, it's a far, far right. Uh, cryptocurrencies do not uh, currently uh, provide all of the core capabilities, but some, yes, like Ethereum. But, boom. <laughs> OMG Network. <laughs> um, so, OMG Network is a tool that can enable cryptocurrency to achieve acceptance. So let's uh, take a step by step. So dApps that connect to the OMG network will enable uh, versatility of the cryptocurrency and asset uh, serving uh, various use cases. Uh, receivability. The E-Wallet SDK library, uh, which is now on our GitHub and open source, um, will support the receivability of the crypto by enabling anybody to build a compatible the wallet. And then uh, already uh, several of our partners, uh, the real businesses, that integrated this SDK, uh, and we will see uh, this SDK integration in the real businesses. Very soon. And security are uh, rooted, rooted to Ethereum enables security and uh, uh, the proof of ownership, as well as uh, completeness and privacy. And um, Stability. The OMG DEX will facilitate crypto assets to become more stable. And lastly, Plasma. The Plasma chain will support massive stability of the Ethereum network. So, OMG World Exchange is coming. And, uh, uh, Basically, it's a very short word. Uh, what we are doing is uh, uh, bridging the gap between Vitalik's mind and your grandma. Thank you. <laughs>